Rob here. I want to do a second video to the video I did earlier today. Um, a couple things I want to touch on that I mentioned in those. Uh, another thing I didn't mention. There is a 70 year prophecy in the Old Testament that parallels up really good with our society, this country, and the, the history of our current, this history piece that we're in right now. Okay, um, It is the 70 years prophecy that God will come and visit his people, Israel, after 70 years. It's found in Jeremiah and in Zechariah. I will, uh, if I do not post the scripture, um, chapters and verses below, um, someone shoot me an email or make a comment to do that to remind me. Um, since I'm driving, I can't really do that right now. Um, anyway, so he talks about, uh, sorry, Zechariah and Jeremiah. They say that God will come and visit his people Israel after 70 years. Okay. And we can relate that to us in this country because if you look at the 70 year cycles, um, I like to go straight to the great depression. Um, after the roaring twenties, when, um, the society got wealthy and got all fornication and um, playing around with lust and drugs and got all crazy party time, you know. Um, and then the then the stock market crashed, boom, like a judgment on it, on all the crazy living and greed and all that crap. <clears throat> and so the Great Depression hit. And then instead of everybody repenting, turning to God and correcting their ways and going into, you know, doing business righteously, producing things, selling them, letting business grow like that. Rather, they had the government programs come out of FDR's New Deal with the corporations that he designed and implemented to get everyone back to work, as they say. That was 70 years ago from now. We're about the 70 year mark from that time. So my point is, in my analysis, and as things are going now, how the corporations have become corrupt and evil and damaging to the world, okay, and their current state. Back then, you know, they designed these corporations to where you could go be a, become a member of the corporation that would get you back to work and get you a job and get to, get the money flowing back into the people. Um, now, I'm not sure if the money was made out of thin air then. At least back then, we produced things that we sold to other countries to generate wealth. You know, truly, to truly get a profit from something that was sold, you know. Now it's just manipulated numbers and we don't produce anything hardly that would be enough to sustain our society we live in today like we did then. So the point is, is when the corporations were formed to get people back to work, they signed into those corporations and became members. When you become a member of a corporation, you become a part of that body, kind of like Christ in the church. Christ wants us to, be, Jesus wants to be, us to be members of his body. Members, it's a very important word. So here they make these corporate body entities to, for you to become a member. And that means that there's a head to that corporation. And that head isn't Jesus. It's a government of man. So here you go, putting yourself under a different head rather than Jesus. Becoming a member of another body with another head. Jesus said you can't serve two masters. So the point is, that's why he's telling us to come out of her, you know, she, so you don't partake in her sins. She's sinful, you know. The corporations are very sinful, um, so don't become a member of it. You can deal with it, but don't become a member of it and be headed by it, you know. And that's very important for what he wants us to deal with right now in this time, especially right before the judgment comes on the whore and those his people that are still in the whore at that time uh, see the first video if you're not if you this is news to your ears um, then we have 
the aspect of other patterns. Okay, my, my point is, though, before I move on from that, since they Im- implemented those corporations 70 years ago, well, then God's going to come back and visit. The word visit in the Hebrew text means bring reward or punishment, whichever is due. So, if, since the corporations are evil, what do you think he's going to bring to the corporations after 70 years? You know what I mean? Um, and the people who are in them um, receive the same plagues. It says that in the Revelation 17 and 18. Now, the other uh, parallels that I see around this time is there are subtle ones too, little minor detail ones, and that is um, if you take 9-11, the event where the World Trade Center was uh, leveled, okay, 70 years before that was when they built the um, Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower, I'm sorry, um, Eiffel Tower, that's not even in the U.S. I, I've been working all day, just got off work and I'm driving at night, so that's my excuse for messing that up. But anyway, the Empire State Building, Eiffel Tower, gosh, okay, the Empire State Building, 70 years before 9-11 when the Twin Towers fell, the Empire State Building was completed. That means at that time, that was the biggest building, tallest building in the area was completed. 70 years later, the tallest buildings in the area are leveled. And there's two of them, like a double judgment. You know how there's double judgment to the whore? So that's a major sign also. We also have other things. There's, I did a video, I think it's on my, um, Countdown to Jesus Coming playlist. Um, Kingdom Countdowns to Jesus Comings. I think that's what it is on the the playlist title on my channel. Um, So go find that. And there's a way better description. There's like three to five parallels that are really cool. Um, One of them too, another minor one is when they did the Patriot Act after 9-11. 70 years before that was when they published... Um, the the um, oh man, what's it called? The national anthem. Um, the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, Star Spangled Banner. They published the Star Spangled Banner officially for our nation seventy years before the Patriot Act was signed into effect. So you know you have that one extreme to the other. Another one to keep an eye on in its future is when Pearl Harbor, not Pearl Harbor, um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki was bombed with the nukes. They were nuked. Well, we're approaching the 70-year anniversary, if we're not there already. We're real close if we haven't crossed over already. But the prophecy does specifically say, after 70 years, I will come and visit my people. And so it doesn't have to be exactly 70 years after. So it's not real specific. So the point is, if we nuke Japan 70 years back, what do you think is going to happen to us as rendering of judgment or reward? This country, I should say. You know, go figure, you know. Um, So nuke for nuke, let's see what happens there. Um, and then, you know, you got one tower built and two towers falling. And we dropped two bombs on them, so it could be four four on us, you know what I mean? There are prophecies from pretty reputable prophets of, of three to four major cities being hit by nukes. Um, so, very interesting things adding up there. So, keep an eye out for that. Um, you know, the, the, just because a few nukes go off doesn't mean the whole world's going to end. Um, you know what I mean? Obviously, there'll be, be horrible, horrible events. But um, the Great Tribulation is definitely about to kick off. We know that. Um, when the corporations go down, we know that money stops as we know it. Um, the government fully takes over. No more corporations. I've done... Many other videos on saying this. I'm going to stop saying this. I'm tired of saying it. 
and um, not many people have watched my videos. Um, I suggest if you haven't, start watching them and uh, get some food for thought at least on um, what's matching the Holy Scripture and what God wants us to do about it. It's what I've pretty much been trying to reveal and keep focus on. Um, I think that's probably about it for this video. Um, I'm going to do another video too. It's not a not going to be a part three, but it's going to be about something else. So um, if you just caught this upload, look for the next one. All right, and uh, take care. <clears throat> Let's just strive to enter in further into Jesus' kingdom, and that is to obey Him and do what do what He wants us to do. <clears throat> and as I said in the last video, He says, "He that obeys." Jesus said, he that obeys me will receive my spirit. So 